Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Young from SG Audio High. We'll be naming our series uh, Naked Audio uh, with uh, Naked Audio Tutorials, Naked Audio Reviews and uh, Naked Audio uh, Teardown. Uh, so basically, we'll be showing you what is the, the insights of uh, the gears that you use every day. Previously, uh, we have uh, learned how to do a repair on the earpiece jack. Uh, so we have uh, learned a bit about the TRS connector, the 3.5mm connectors. So today we will be going to teach you how to build your own 3.5mm to 3.5mm aux cable or auxiliary cable uh, interconnect uh, but we are going to do a 1.5m length so it will be a long uh, auxiliary cable uh, not very difficult, uh, quite fast so let's get started Okay, basically so we will need quite a bit of tools uh, but they are the usual tools that uh, we, we have been using our uh, pliers uh, this is a uh, wire stripper uh, we need markers to mark out the, the colors uh, pincer for difficult to reach area uh, scissors to cut uh, the items into length uh, we need the lighter uh, or heat gun uh, DIY jacks, 3.5mm jacks uh, pieces of glue from the glue stick that we cut uh, some heat strings. Uh, basically, we need uh, two heat strings for the internal, uh, each one each. Uh, these are for the logo and finishing. Okay, uh, we have this uh, nylon sleeving. And uh, for today, we'll be using uh, the Canary 46. This is the star quad. There is uh, one other imp important tool uh, which is uh, we need a tester, a light bulb tester. Uh, basically, uh, <coughs> you can use a multimeter or you can use a light bulb tester. Okay, so today we'll be building a 1.5 meter uh, auxiliary cable. So first we have to cut uh, 1.5 meter from uh, from this uh, this row of wire. It's, uh, I think it's 2 meter, so uh, we'll be cutting it to 1.5 meter. So we have cut our cable. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the insides we have uh, four wires. So uh, two blue and two white. Okay, as you can see the inside. Uh, we, this uh, this is a shielded wire. This is from the Canary Star Quad. Uh, So what we are going to do is uh, we have to we have to remove the shielding. Okay, from here we have to check the length of uh, the cut. Cutting the shielding uh, can be very messy, so I recommend that you all do it uh, with uh, something below to catch the the small pieces of wire yeah, to prevent a mess uh, some, it's best to have something uh, below to catch everything okay, so we'll be using the white for the ground So we get a wire stripper to strip the, the ground wires. We will twist them together to form one uh, conductor. So uh, this part will, will thin the, the conductor, the, the ground conductor. Okay, so we do have two other blue cable, we'll use them for the signal.
So one side is prepared. Uh, we have to do the other side uh, to make the process quicker. So okay, we have one issue here currently because uh, this is a long length of wire. We don't know which uh, like the first part that we prepared. We don't know which is the left and the right on the other side. So uh, right now we will require the tester. As you can see, uh, one side is a is a clip and the other side is a is exposed uh, wire. So uh, we we'll clip this on the left on the left side channel. And we will find out which one is the left channel. Okay. So this wire is the left wire. So as always, we will use blue for left. Okay. We have prepared uh, the very first part of the, the cable. So for the next part, uh, it will be actually to solder the 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 jack onto the cable itself. So, uh, like how we usually uh, finish uh, a jack, uh, we we'll put a heat string over and uh, a piece of glue to seal up everything. So one side is complete. Uh, of course, you can opt not to put the nylon cable. Okay, we have the whole thing through. So we have finished one side of the of the pin of the jack. So we align the edges properly. And, uh, we will prepare two small heat string at the end. This piece of heat string will go onto the the end part of the nylon, and uh, we will get a piece of glue. and the first side is complete. <clears throat> the steps for the next side will be similar. Okay, so we have found the end of the wire and, and the these are like excess nylon, we will cut them. Okay. We will pull them out and to expose the Heat shrink. Remove the heat shrink. Okay, this nylon are expendable. Uh, let, let's uh, burn them to stop them from fraying. So you can actually retract them. Let's retract them for quite a bit so that we can install our barrel. Uh, this way we have to do it the reverse way so the screw side will be facing the outside. And we will solder the pin now.
Okay, now we will pull back the nylon straight so that it's tight and we'll remove the excess so make it tight and these are the excess So they are in line now. Yeah, please remember to do this in a well ventilated area. Okay, so you can use a piece of long head shrink black color to shrink it down, or you can do it like us where we install our logo. Okay, the last and most important step is to test that everything is working. Uh, you can test it through your system, or uh, you can use it. Uh, you can use a a tester here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like our content, uh, please help us to subscribe to the channel. And uh, you can follow us on Instagram uh, and Facebook uh, for more updates. And uh, if you have any comments or on things that you want to know more, you want to learn more, any uh, new videos that you want to see, any questions, uh, do post them in the comments below. And uh, I'll try my best to answer everything. So once again, thank you all for watching.